गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिम प्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवा सर्वकार्येशु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं करिष्यामी सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम पाथाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबा ुसंदधा भगवदीते भवत्षिणी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुलाय तपत्र नेत्रया भारत तैलपूर्ण प्रज्वालि ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय स्त्रोत्रेत्रकपाणे ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णाय गीतामृतुहे नम वसुदेवसुत देव कंस चाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु भीष्मद्रोण तटा जयद्रथजला गांधार नीलोत्पला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोरमक दुर्योधनावर्ति सोत्तीर्णा खलु पांडवैरण नदी कैवर्तक केशव पाराशल्यवच सरोजमल गीताकोत्कट नाख्यानकसर हरिकथा संबोधना बोधि लोके सज्जन षटरहर पेपीयम मुदा भूया भारत पंकज कलिमल प्रध्वंसी न श्रेयसे मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यहां वंदे परमानंदमाधव गीताशास्त्रद पुण्य पठे प्रयत पुमा विष्णो पदमवाप्नोति भयशोक विवर्जि गीताध्ययनशील से प्राणायाम पर नव सी पापा पूर्वजन्म मल निर्मोचन पुंसा जल स्ना दिने दिने सकृदीतांसी स्ना संसारमलनाशनम गीता सुगीता कर्तव्या किमशास्त्र विस्तर या स्वयं पद्मनाभ से मुख पद्मासृता भारतामृतसर्वस्व विष्णोर्वक्रादृत गीता गंगोदक पीवा पुनर्जन्म विद्यते सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपालनंदन पार्थो वत्सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत् एक शास्त्र देवकीपुत्र गीतमेको देवो देवकीपुत्र एको मंत्रस्त नाप्येक सेवा शाता भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं 
ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತ ಕಮಲನಯನ ಯೋಗಿಭ್ಯಾನಗಮ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಭವಭಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವರುಣೀಂದ್ರರುದ್ರಮರುತಸ್ತುಂಬಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈ ವೇದೈಸ್ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈರ್ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಯಂ ಸಾಮಗಾಹ ಧ್ಯಾನಸ್ಥಿತದ್ಗತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯಂ ಯೋಗಿನ ಯಾಂತ ನಿದುಸುರಾಸುರಗಣಾ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಯದಕ್ಷರಪದ ಭ್ರಷ್ಟ ಮಾತ್ರಹೀನಂಚ ಯದ್ಭವೇತ್ ತತ್ಸರ್ವ ಕ್ಷಮ್ಯತಾಂದೇವನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ತೇ ಕಾಯೇನ ವಾಚ ಮನಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯೈರ್ವಾ ಬುದ್ಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವಾತ್ ಕರೋಮಿ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಸಕಲಂ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯೇತಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ ಅಸ್ತು ಗತ ಸಪ್ತಾಹೆ ವಯಂ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಸಮಸ ಖಲು ಗೀತಾ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಪುಸ್ತಕೆ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಅಭವತ್ ಸೊ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ತಸಹ ಪಠನೀಯ ಸೊ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿಯಂತ ಪದಂ ಸುಬಂತೇನ ಸಮಸ್ಯತೆ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮಹೋದಯ ಪಠಿತು ಇಚ್ಛತಿ ವಾ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ Actually, I meant uh, ASR Murthy Mahodaya. Okay, Shastri Mahodaya. Salpa Samayatana Tera Maham Pathami. Pathakam Atham Aduna Aham Samayipi Nasti. Atha Kodit Samayatana Tera Maham Pathami. Astu, Astu. Shastri Mahodaya. ಭಾರತಿ ಭಗಿನಿ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಸಮಸ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಪಠತು ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಗೀತಾ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಪುಸ್ತಕೆ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿಯಂತ ಪದಂ ಸುಬಂತೇನ ಸಮಸ್ಯತೆ ಪಾಂಡೋ ಪುತ್ರ ಪಾಂಡುಪುತ್ರ ಪ್ರಜಾಂ ಪತಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ತೂಲ ತನ್ಮೂಲ ಮಮ ಭಕ್ತ ಮದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಸ್ವರ್ಗ ಸ್ವರ್ಗದ್ವಾರ ಮೃಗಾಂ ರಾಜ ಮೃಗರಾಜ ಗೀತಾಪದೇಶ ಗೀತೋಪದೇಶ ಕರ್ಮಫಲ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಕರ್ಮಫಲ ತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಅನಂತರ ಚಾರಿ ಮಹೋದಯ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಸಮಸ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಚಾರಿ ಮಹೋದಯ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಮಹೋದಯ ಕ್ಷಮ್ಯತಾ ಮನಮು ಚತುರ್ಥಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ನುಂಚಿ ಚದವಾಲ ಚತುರ್ಥಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಅಯ್ತೆ ಚಾರಿ ಮಹೋದಯ ಚತುರ್ಥಿ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಪಠತು ತಸ್ಮೈ ಇದಂ ತದರ್ಥ ಮಹ್ಯಂ ಇದಂ ಮದರ್ಥ ಭೂತೇಭ್ಯೋ ಬಲಿ ಭೂತ ಬಲಿ ದಂಬಾಯ ಇದಂ ದಂಭಾರ್ಥ ದಂಭಾರ್ಥ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಾಣಮಸ್ತಿ ಅವಹಾಸಾಯ ಇದಂ ಅವಹಾಸಾರ್ಥ ಜನೇಭ್ಯೋ ಹಿತ ಜನಹಿತ ಉದಾಹರಣ ಸೊ ಅತ್ರ ಕಿಮಿ 
शंका अस्ति वा अर्थशब्देन यदा समासः भवति तदा विग्रहवाक्ये अर्थशब्दः न प्रयुज्यते सो तस्म इदं तदर्थम् अत्र समासपदे अर्थशब्दः अस्ति अतः विग्रहवाक्ये अर्थशब्दः नास्ति इति अत्र दत्तम् अस्ति अर्थशब्देन यदा समासः भवति तदा विग्रहवाक्ये अर्थशब्दः न प्रयुज्यते वी शुड नॉट यूज द अर्थशब्द इन द विग्रहवाक्य तस्मै इदं तदर्थम् सो हियर इवन लास्ट टाइम व्हेन वी वर रीडिंग फ्रॉम द समासा बुक अ कपल ऑफ यू हैड लिटिल कंफ्यूजन सो तस्मै इदं व्हाय इदं इज यूज्ड इज व्हाट यू वर आस्किंग सो तस्मै फॉर हिम फॉर हिम दिस व्हाट एवर दैट इज ओके तस्मै इदं पुस्तकम् तस्मै इदं फलम् सो दैट इदं रिप्रेजेंट्स व्हाट इज फॉर दिस पर्सन ओके तदर्थम् सो तदर्थम् फलम् तदर्थम् पुस्तकम् फॉर दैट person or for that reason this book okay thus my need not always represent a person because napumsaka linga shabda tad shabda also chaturthi vibhakti rupam is thus my so for that purpose this book for him this book we can use it in both depending on the context okay Sim similarly mahyam idam madartham so for me okay whatever is being used or given for our, for my purpose that will be madartham dambhaya idam dambhartham so dambhaya dambham means like uh, to show off avahasaya idam so to uh, avahasam means to uh, make fun of others to belittle them janebhyo hitam janebhya hitam janebhya janahitam so for the benefit of the people bhutebhya balihi bhuta balihi so the offerings for other living beings offerings that are given for other living beings anantar uh, surya bhai mahare ekshamit ah masa pustakam lo 30th page lo manam ee trutiya vibhakti jadinapudu maashena unam ani undi avunu maashena unam माशो वाला मंटे नत्वम राखूंडा मामूल नकारम को नहीं चेक तो नहीं अभी समस्त बदम अरे मना प्रिंटिंग मिस्टेक का लेकिन बहुत यात्रा ने उस तरह माशे हाँ माशे है ना वो या या अर्धमाइन दे मैं प्रश्न अर्धमाइन दे माशो नम सो आकर शकार है उन्हीं सो स्वरालन्नी देशों डेलव फर द शकार फर द नत्वम टू ह� uh, why it is not happening, uh, I have to check on that. Mashena Unam. Mashena is a different word. Una is a different word. How will you get? Ah, no, no, no. He is asking in the Samastapadam. Mashonam. Mashonam. Sa is Adadi bin. Sa Adadi bin. Atu. नास्ति नास्ति रा सोमवार सकार सकार no, प्रातिपदा 
one second masha is there no there shashti sha is there no which is the nimitta for natvam to happen masam sir jan mashonam ivide masha plus sonam there is less black gram sir natvam is there in question jan mashonam no no masha plus sonam sa shavarna sa sa se sanmukha tada mashonam natva happens ఇక్కడ మాషేణ ఊనం మాషోణం అని ఆ తృతీయాభిభక్తి తృతీయాభిభక్తి ఉదాహరణలలో అది ఇచ్చారు కొంచెం భవాన్ కిమర్థం శంకరశ నాస్తి అతహ నత్వం న భవతి కిమర్థం తత్ ఉక్తవాన్ శంకర శంకరశకార నిమిత్తం నాస్తి ఖలు నిమిత్తం కిం రేఫ షష్టి Masha means that black gram, less, less of black grams. Then Ma- Mahashonam is correct. Ma- so Mahashonam is correct. Mahashonam is correct. Ma- Mahashonam is correct. Mahashonam is correct. Mahashonam is correct. Mahashonam is correct. Murti Mahodaya. Atra Prishnaha. Prishnaha kaha. Mahashonam atra natvam kimartam na bhavati iti saha prishtavan. అంటే మినువులు తగ్గిని ఆ వంటకం అంటే మినుములు అండి సారీ మహోదయ ప్రశ్న ఏంటి అంటే ఇక్కడ నత్వం ఎందుకు రాయలే మాషోణం సమస్త పదంలో అని అడుగుతున్నారు కేవలం స్వర ఏ అస్తి అత భవితవ్యం కింతు కిమర్థం న భవతి ఇది ఏకవారం అహమీ దృష్ట్వామి అస్తు మహోదయ అనంతరం తర్వాత అంటే ఎవరైనా ఒకళ్ళు మాట్లాడేటప్పుడు మిగతా వాళ్ళు జస్ట్ విల్ బీ క్వైట్ సో దట్ దట్ మెసేజ్ కెన్ గెట్ అక్రాస్ అందరూ ఒకేసారి మాట్లాడితే ఎవరిది అర్థం కాదు ఓకే సో చారీ మహోదయ భవాన్ చతుర్థి విభక్తి ఉదాహరణాన్ని చతుర్థి తత్పురుషస్య ఉదాహరణాన్ని పట్టితవాన్ ఖలు సూర్యా భగిని పంచమి తత్పురుషస్య ఉదాహరణాన్ని అహం పఠామి మహోదయ శ్రీదేవి పంచమి విభక్తి తత్పురుష పంచమి తత్పురుష పంచమి విభక్త్యాంతం పదం భయ భీత భీతి భీ శబ్దై సమస్యతే చోరాత్ భయం చోర భయం సర్పాత్ భీతి సర్ప భీతి వ్యాఘ్రాత్ భీతి భీత వ్యాఘ్ర భీత వృశ్చికాత్ భీహి వృశ్చికాభి భీహి వృశ్చికాభి దీర్ఘం నాస్తి వృశ్చికభి కభీ ఓకే అస్తు సో తదీ వయం పూర్వమేవ పఠితవంత సో పంచమి విభక్త్యంతం పదం భయా భీతా భీతి భీహి శబ్దై సమస్యతే సో 
a word which is in panchami vibhakti will join with these shabdas bhaya bhita bhiti bhihi to form a samasa padam okay not with others like earlier we read so chorat bhayam chorat rakshanam that we cannot form because as per panini sutra that is not there okay so only with these shabdas panchami vibhakti antam padam can be joined in samasa anantaram surya bhagini shashti tatpurushah abhavat saptami tatpurushasya udaharanani padatu surya bhagini na shruyate bhagini can i ask one question ah adagane panchi vibhakti puru అనవచ్చు లేదు అనేది నేను డబుల్ చెక్ చేస్తాను ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ సో అంటే అన్ని శబ్దాలు ఉన్నాయి ఆ అర్థంలో ఆ శబ్దాలన్నీ కూడా మనము పంచమి విభక్తి అంతం పదంతో సమాసం చేయొచ్చు అని చెప్తున్నారు ఇవన్నీ నేను ఒక దాంట్లో వాయిస్ రావట్లేదని ఇంకోటి ఓపెన్ చేశాను తీసేస్తాను అదే వాయిస్ డౌట్ గా ఉంది వస్తుందో లేదో అందుకని ఓపెన్ చేశాను అనమాట ఇంకొకటి ఓపెన్ చేస్తాను షష్టి తత్పురుష షష్టి విభక్తి అంత పదం శుభంతైన సమస్య ఉదాహరణాన్ని అభవత్ సప్తమి తత్పురుషస్య ఉదాహరణాన్ని పట్టు సప్తమి సప్తమే తత్పురుష సప్తమే విభక్త్యంతం పదం పండిత కుశల నిపుణ ప్రవీణాది శబ్దై సమస్యతే ధనుర్విద్యాయాం కుశల ధనుర్విద్యా కుశల వేణువాదనే నిపుణ వేణువాదన నిపుణ శాస్త్రేషు పండిత శాస్త్ర పండిత కురుషు శ్రేష్ట కురుశ్రేష్ట పురుషేషు ఉత్తమ పురుషోత్తమ నాట్యే నాట్యే ప్రవీణ నాట్య ప్రవీణ సో సప్తమి విభక్తి అంతం పదం కెన్ బి జాయింట్ విత్ ద వర్డ్స్ పండిత కుశల నిపుణ ప్రావీణ ప్రవీణ ఓకే అండ్ యాజ్ సచ్ వర్డ్స్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి జాయింట్ సో హియర్ ధనుర్విద్యాయాం కుశల శాస్త్రేషు పండిత పురుషేషు ఉత్తమ నాట్యే ప్రవీణ పురుషు శ్రేష్ట వేణువాదనే నిపుణ ఓకే సో వెన్న సప్తమి అంతం పదం ఇస్ జాయిన్ విత్ దీస్ వర్డ్స్ ఇట్ విల్ ఫార్మ్ అ సప్తమి తత్పురుష సమాస అస్తు అనంతరం పద్మ భగిని ృష్ట భక్త్యాపహృతం 
प्लस भक्तोपहृतम तृतीय तत्ष मंत्र हीन मंत्रहीन तृतीय तृतीय तत्ष श्रद्धया विरहित श्रद्धा विरहित तृतीय तत्ष गुण अन्वित गुणान्वित तृतीय तत्ष दंभा चतुर्थी तत्ष मह्यमद मदर्थ चतुर्थी तत्ष अवहासायहासाथम करेक्ट चतुर्थी तत्ष योगा योग भ्रष्ट पंचमी अमृता उद्भव अमृतोद्भव पंचमी तत्ष कर्म कर्म सुद्भव पंचमी तत्ष आचार्य उपहासन आचार्योपासन षष्टी षष्टी तत्ष नरलोक वीरा नरलोक वीरा षष्टी तत्ष आत्मनी रति आत्मरति सप्तमी सत्ष युद्धे विशारद युद्ध विशारद सप्तमी तत्ष उत्तम धन्यवाद धन्यवाद तत्ष सामस अभवत् इधं कर्मधारय सामस कर्मधारय सामस अभी तत्ष सामस एव इट इज अपेषल केस ऑफ तत्ष सामस कर्मधारय सामस इज अपेषल केस ऑफ तत्ष सामस so uh, open your uh, samasa books to page number 40 first we'll read the basics of karma dharaya samasa and the sutras involved and then we will come back to gita pravesha pustakam madam and doctor the previous gita book third the third example kaman kami samasta bhava kama kami bhavati kama kami But uh, it is given as kaman kami. They do not correct, no. Kama kami is the correct word. Okay. It is given the same vigraha vakya only they printed. It should be kama kami. Okay. So karma dharaya samasa. In uh, the Samasa book, page number forty, Samana Vibhaktanta Yaha Eva, Samana Vibhaktanta Yoho Eva, Karma Dharaya Samasa Ha Bhavati. Iti Samanya Lakshanam. Atah Karma Dharaya Sya Sarveshu Bhedeshu Idam Samanya Lakshanam Anuvartate. So basically, when we have this uh, Let us take a tatpurusha samasa. Nadi tiram, nadi tiram, nadiyaha tiram. Here, nadi is one thing, tiram is another thing. These are two different things. They don't have samana adhikarana. Samana adhikarana means both of them should represent the same entity. Like Rama ha uttama ha, Rama ha uttama ha balaka ha. Here, Rama ha is also indicating the boy. by the name rama uttamaha saha uttamaha when i say saha uttamaha saha ramaha saha balakaha uttamaha that uttamaha is also representing the same boy saha is also representing the same boy so all these words have samana adhikarana adhikaranam is there in one entity only we are having several words which have their uh, adhikarana in the same thing then they are said to have samana adhikarana ramaha uttamaha saha balakaha all these words have samana adhikarana okay so we have to check for that for karma dharaya whether to uh, understand if uh, samasa padam is in karma dharaya if it is a karma dharaya tatpurusha you have to check if both the words have the same adhikarana then we can say it is a karma dharaya samasa okay so that is the samanya lakshana of a karma dharaya samasa visheshana purva pada 
ಸೊ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಾಚಿ ಸುಬಂತಂ ವಿಶೇಷ್ಯ ವಾಚಿನ ಸುಬಂತೇನ ಸಮಸ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಾಚಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಸ್ ಅ ನೌನ್ ಸುಬಂತಂ ವಿಶೇಷ್ಯ ವಾಚಿನ ಸುಬಂತೇನ ನಾವು ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಸುಬಂತ ಸೋನೆ ದ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಸುಬಂತ ವಿಶೇಷ್ಯಂ ನೌನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸುಬಂತ ಉತ್ತಮ ಬಾಲಕ ಉತ್ತಮ ಬಾಲಕ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಉತ್ತಮ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸುಬಂತ ಬಾಲಕ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸುಬಂತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಿಶೇಷ್ಯ ಸೊ ದೇ ಬೋತ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಜಾಯಿಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮಾಸ ಉದಾಹರಣ ನೀಲಂ ಉತ್ಪಲಂ ಓಕೆ ನೀಲೋತ್ಪಲಂ ದೀರ್ಘಾ ರಜ್ಜು ದೀರ್ಘ ರಜ್ಜು ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೀರ್ಘ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೀರ್ಘ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ರೋಪ್ ರಜ್ಜು ಓಕೆ ರಜ್ಜು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ರಜ್ಜು ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೀರ್ಘ ರಜ್ಜು ಉನ್ನತ ವೃಕ್ಷ ಉನ್ನತ ವೃಕ್ಷ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಉನ್ನತ ಸಹ ಉನ್ನತ means that is very tall what is that here the tree in this context we are referring to the tree as unnataha unnataha vrikshaha adaha pradarshiteshu udaharaneshu yani purva padani santi tani karma dharaye sada purvameva prayoktavyani yatha prathamaha vayakaranaha iti vayakaranaha prathama iti va vivakshite ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಯಾಕರಣ ಇತ್ಯೇವ ಭವತಿ ನ ತು ವಯಾಕರಣ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಇತಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಸೊ ದ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ವಾಕ್ಯ ವೆನ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಈದರ್ ವೇ ಬಟ್ ದ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಪದಂ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪದ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಉತ್ತರ ಪದ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಉತ್ತರ ಪದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಪದಂ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ in the final compound word but in vigraha vakya you can sometimes write this way or that way so that is what is given here anantaram let us look at the paniniya sutras that support all these uh, concepts tatpurushah samanadhikaranah karmadharayah so that tatpurusha samasa which has samanadhikarana okay is called karmadharaya that is the paniniya sutra one second this is a simple sutra basically what it says is it is basically a name right tatpurushah is a name of a samasa and that's uh, tatpurusha samasa a word which is in tatpurusha samasa if it has the both the words of that samasa if they have samanadhikarana then it is called it will get the name karmadharaya okay ಅಭಿಧೇಯ ವಾಚಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಭಿಧೇಯ ವಾಚಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ಸಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ ಬಹುವ್ರಿಹಿ ಅನ್ವಿನ್ನಮು ಸಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ ದ್ವಿಗು ಅನ್ವಿನ್ನಮು ಈ ಸಮಾಧಾನೀಕರಣ ಕಾರ್ಮಧಾರಿಕ ಸಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ವಯಿಸಿಕೋವಾಲಿ ಅದೇ ಚೆಪ್ಪಾನು ಕದಾ ಮೀಕು ಆ ಸಮಾಸ ಪದಂಲೋ ಉನ್ನ ರೆಂಡು ಪದಾಲು ಒಕೇ ಎಂಟಿಟಿನಿ ಸೂಚಿಸ್ತುನ್ನಪ್ಪುಡು ಆ ರೆಂಡು ಪದಾಲ ಮದ್ಯ ಸಮಾನಾದಿಕರಣ ಮುಂದಿ ಅನಿ. ಅಂಟೇ ಇಪ್ಪುಡು ವಿಸೇಶನ ವಿಸೇಶ್ಯ ಭಾವಮಾಂ. � ಅಂಟೇ ಇಕ್ಕಡ ಕರ್ಮಧಾರಯಕ್ಕೆ ಮನಂ ಸಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ ಇಪ್ಪುಡು ವಿನುಲೇದು ಅಲಾಗ ಬಾಡೇರು ಅನಿ ಲೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನಿ ಕರ್ಮಧಾ ಸಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ ಕರ್ಮಧಾರಯ ಅನಿ ಅನಕೋಡದು ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೇಮ್ ಕರ್ಮಧಾರಯ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೇಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಸಮಾಸ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ವ
and mm -hmm. whereas and the second word gets a different the second word is usually in the prathama vibhakti the first word will have a different vibhakti yes so prathama vibhakti or dvitiya vibhakti or trutiya vibhakti or whatever then that will become samanya tat purusha and both of those words do not have adhikarana in the same entity nadi tiram nadi is different tiram is different these are two different things they don't have yes. samana adhikarana mm. but here uttamah balakah uttama balakah both these words have adhikarana in the same entity yes so that uh, so we say that these two words have samana adhikarana sachcha tatpurusha samasa is called karmadareya samasa asu vanyat avagatam bhagi dhanyavadah anantaram visheshanam visheshyena bahulam so the same uh, visheshana purva pada this is basically for visheshana either purva pada or uttara pada or obhaya pada for both uh, for any of these three the visheshanam visheshyena bahulam this sutram applies we have commonly studied visheshana purva pada karmadhareya but we can also come across visheshana uttara pada karmadhareya or visheshana ubhaya pada karmadhareya so visheshana mandi ante sorry ha ah, cheptunna cheptunna nade vastunna okay so visheshana visheshena bahulam so bhedakam visheshana means that which uh, uh, that which distinguishes bhedakam ante distinguishes now there are 10 boys there among the 10 boys unnatah balakah means the boy who is tall okay uttamah balakah the boy who is the best among all in that way we are distinguishing one from a group so that is called visheshanam the word which distinguishes is called visheshanam bhedakam visheshanam bhedyam visheshyam that which is being distinguished is uh, is visheshya okay visheshana vachi subantam visheshya vachina samanaadhikaranena subantena sah bahulam samasyate tatpurushah samasah bhavati that tatpurusha samasa is called karmadhareya and uh, visheshana purva pada or visheshana uttara pada or visheshana ubhaya pada it can be depending on how the words are chosen udaharanam neelotpalam raktotpalam and so on bahula vachanam vyavasthartham means bahula vachanam bahulam is given no in the sutra what does it indicate it indicates the samasa sometimes can be nityam samasa can be uh, na bhavet samasa will never happen sometimes and sometimes vikalpena when does it happen like nitya samasa um, when nitya samasa bhavati when it will not happen and when uh, vikalpena bhavati idanim na pathamaha that kevalam you just know that by the word bahulam it means that samasa nityam bhavati athava vikalpena bhavati athava na bhavati okay and we'll just look at the examples for that so nitya samasah uh, krishna sarpah lohita shalihi iti okay krishna sarpah krishna means black sarpah black snake lohita shalihi shalihi means rice so lohita shalihi lohita means red or brown so like brown rice okay there in that in those examples nityam bhavati samasah uh, nityam bhavati Uh, in sometimes it will never happen ramo jamadagnyah that is an example ramah or rama jamadagnyah so here between these two words samasa does not happen similarly arjunah kar, uh, kartaviryah there also samasa does not happen okay so what does it mean here ramo jama uh, jamadagnyah means um uh, parashurama here this rama represents parashurama who is uh, is he the son or father of jamadagni son of son, son, son of son of he is the son of some son of jamadagni so he is called jamadagni jamadagni uh, page number please uh, we are in the samasa book page number 40 uh, okay. okay but these examples are not given here i i'm just uh, giving some additional examples Okay, so okay. here Ramo Jamadagni. So this Jamadagni, son of Jamadagni. So Jamadagni, 
Ramo Jamadagni. So here, which one is the Visheshana? Jamadagnya is Visheshana of Rama. Rama means Parashurama. Parashurama is also known as Jamadagnya. So it is like uh, Dasharatha Rama. When we say Dasharatha Rama, we, we mean that he is the son of Dasharatha. Right? So here Dasharatha will be the uh, Dasharathi Rama, actually we have to say. Um, Dasharathi Rama. So here Dasharathi will become the Dasharathi also means Rama. Rama also means Rama. That is what the Samanadhikarana means. Both, both words represent the same entity. But here Dasharathi is an adjective of Rama. Right? So Visheshana Purvapada Karmadhareya Samasa. Similarly here also Ramo Jamadagnyaha. Jamadagni is Visheshana of Rama, Parashurama here. So Visheshana Uttarapada Karmadhareya Samasa this will become. Okay, because the Visheshana is in the Uttarapada. We are talking about Parashurama. Another name for Parashurama is Jamadagni. So which is which becomes the Visheshana of Rama, but it is in the Uttarapada. So Uttarapada Visheshana, Visheshana Uttarapada Karmadhareya Samasa. Similarly, Arjuna Kartavirya also. He is the son of uh, Kartaviraha. So he is called Kartaviraha. And his name is Arjuna. This is not our Pandava Arjuna. This is another Arjuna. So Arjuna Kartaviraha. Kartaviraha is the adjective here. So here also Visheshana Uttarapada Karmadhariya Samasa. And sometimes Vikalpena Bhavati Samasa. Neelam Utpalam. Neelotpalam. So here in Neelam Utpalam. Neelam Utpalam. Only the Sandhi happened. Okay. It is not even Sandhi. It is just the joining of Makara and Ukara. Neelam Utpalam. Here the Sandhi did not happen. So Neelam Utpalam. Both are there. Neelotpalam. Their uh, Samasa has happened. That is why the Pratipadika Neela plus Utpala. Neelotpala. Sandhi happened and Neelotpala it became. Okay. So Vikalpena Bhavati. If it happens, Neelotpalam. If the Samasa does not happen, Neelamutpalam. So, Bahulam means that uh, Kadachit Nityam Bhavati, Kadachit Vikalpena Bhavati, Kadachit Na Bhavati. Okay? So, that is uh, regarding Visheshanam, Visheshyena Bahulam. Anantaram, in the footnotes, uh, there is uh, some notes given. No? Let us look at that. Jati Shabdaha, Guna Shabdaha, Kriya Shabdaha, Sanya Shabdaha cha iti Chatur Vidaha Shabdaha Asti. So the, the words Shabdaha are of four types. Jati Shabdaha, Guna Shabdaha, Kriya Shabdaha, Sanya Shabdaha. Jati Shabdaha means like Brikshaha, Deshaha, uh, Manushyaha, Manavaha. All these are Jati. They indicate a Jati, an entity. Guna Shabdaha. They indicate the quality. Uttamaha, Sheetalaha, Unnataha. Uh, komalaha, all these are qualities. Guna Shabdaha, Kriya Shabdaha, Pachati, uh, Pruchati, Pathati, all these are Kriya Shabdaha. Sanya Shabdaha, Sanya Shabdaha means actual names. Okay? Uh, Devadattaha, Ramaha, Sita, all these are Sanya Shabdaha. So, like this, words are of four kinds Jati Shabdaha, Vrikshaha, Utpalam, Ityadayaha. Guna Shabdaha, Kubjaha, Sheetam, Ityadayaha. Kubjaha means short. Kriya Shabdaha, Pachakaha, Patakaha, Nartakaha, Ityadayaha. Sanya Shabdaha, Ayodhya, Kashi, Devadattaha, Ityadayaha. Guna Kriya Sanya Shabda, Samabhi Vyahare, Jati Shabdaha, Visheshya Samarpakaha. So, if the, either the Guna or the Kriya or the Sanya Shabdas are joined with the Jati Shabda, then the Jati Shabda will become the Visheshya. The Jati Shabda will become the Visheshya, and each of these Guna Shabda or the Kriya Shabda or the Sanya Shabda will become Visheshana. Say, for example, Dirgha Vrikshaha, a very long tree. Dirgha Vrikshaha. Atra Vrikshaha Jati Shabdaha. Dirgaha Guna Shabdaha. So Samasena Dirgha Vrikshaha Iti Bhavati. Atra Vrikshaha Visheshyam Bhavati Dirgaha Visheshanam Bhavati. 
सो विशेषण पूर्वपद कर्मधारय सामस पाठक ब्राह्मण ब्राह्मण जातिश पाठक क्रियाश सो क्रियाश जातिश समस्यते चेत विशेषण क्रियाश विशेषण जातिश विशेष्य सो पुनः विशेषण पूर्वपद कर्मधारय अयोध्यानगरी अयोध्या संज्ञाश नगरी जातिश सो संज्ञाश जातिश समस्य अतिश विशेष्य संज्ञाश विशेषण गुणशब्दो सम्याहारे विशेषण विशेष्य भाव से नियम नास्ति गुणशब्दो बिटवीन टू गुणास् टू गुणास् कैन ऑलसो जॉइन इन अमस टू वर्ड्स विच इंडिकेट जस्ट द गुणास् कैन ऑलसो जॉइन इन समस इन दट केस विशेषण विशेष्य भाव विल नाट बी देर बिकॉज बोथ आर् गुणास् बोथ विल बी विशेषण लाइक खंज कुज खंज मीन लेम पर्सन पर्सन हू हेज सम कैंड ऑफ डिफेक्ट इन हिज लेग्स कुज शार्ट पर्सन सो हि इज लेम एंड शार्ट सो कब्ज खंज कुज और कुज खंज यू कैन से इट इन बोथ वेज बट बोथ आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ पर्सन सो द सेम पर्सन हेज दिस दीज बोथ क्वालिटीज हि इज बोथ शार्ट एंड लेम सो खंज कुज और कुज खंज ईदर वे यू कैन से नो दिस विल बिकम विशेषण उभय पद कर्मधारय सामस बट बोथ द वर्ड्स आर् इंडिकेटिंग द सेम पर्सन दि एंटिटी इज द सेम सो अधिकरण सामनमस्ती ओके बट बोथ आर् ओनली गुणशब्दा दट इज वै देर इज नो विशेषण विशेष्य भाव हियर केवल विशेषण उभय पद कर्मधारय सामस अन क्रियाशब्दो अशेषण विशेष्य भाव से नियम नास्ति सिमिलरली इफ टू क्रियाशब्दा जॉइन इन सामस देर ऑलसो दे वोट हेव विशेषण विशेष्य भाव बिटवीन दम बिकॉज बोथ आर् क्रियाशब्दा बोथ आर् आक्टिंग लाइक विशेषण दट ऑलसो विल बिकम विशेषण उभय पद कर्मधारय हौ यथक नर्तक पाठक मीन हि हू टीचर्स नर्तक मीन हि हू डांस सो पाठक नर्तक मीन टीचर हू डांस नर्तक पाठक मीन डांसर हू टीचर्स बट बोथ मीन द सेम युअर हौ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रेजेंट इट ओनली दट इज चेंजिंग बै 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 चेंजिंग द पोजिशन ऑफ द वर्ड्स बट दे मीन एक्चुअली द सेम सो पाठक यहाटक अस्त सह एव नर्तक अभी ओके हि हू इज टीचिंग दट सेम पर्सन इज द डांसर ऑलसो सो अधिकरण सामनमस्ती सो पाठक नर्तक अथवा नर्तक पाठक गुणक्रियाशब्दो अशेषण विशेष्य भाव से नियम नास्ति नौ वेन गुणश जॉइन विथ क्रियाश इन सामस देर ऑलसो विशेषण विशेष्य भाव नास्ति यथा कुज पाचक पाचक हि हु कुक्स कुज हि हु इज शार्ट so a short person who is a cook the short person is showing at the same person that is also the cook so adhikaranam samanam asti but both are talking about the quality only so visheshana visheshya bhavah nasti atra so visheshana ubhaya pada karmadharaya samasah eva atra api paachaka kujjah so kujja paachakah athava paachaka kujjah dvav api samanam eva जातिश सम्याहारे संज्ञाश विशेषण सो वेन जातिश इज जॉइंड विथ संज्ञाश संज्ञा मीन ऐ टोल यू लाइक अ प्रॉपर नेम लाइक सीता राम अयोध्या काशी देवदत्त ऑल दीज आर् प्रॉपर नेम्स प्रॉपर नेम्स एनी नेम इज कॉल्ड संज्ञा इन संस्कृत सो संज्ञाश विशेषण सो वेन जातिश इज जॉइंड विथ संज्ञाश The sanya shabda will become visheshana, and the jati shabda will become visheshya noun. Okay, Kailasa Adri. So Kailasa is the name of a particular mountain. Adri is a mountain. So Adri is a jati shabda, whereas Kailasa is a sanya shabda. So when a sanya shabda joins with a jati shabda, 
the sanya shabda will become visheshana so basically this also is a visheshana purva pada karma dharaya samasa but we have a special name for that sambhavana purva pada also we 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 gave it a special name called sambhavana purva pada karma dharaya samasa but it is basically nothing but visheshana purva pada okay samanya jati vishesha jati shabda yoho samabhivyahare vishesha jati hi eva visheshanam yatha amra vrikshah samanya jati vishesha jati now here vriksha is a samanya jati amra is vishesha jati see in amra vriksha also you have so many trees there is no one tree there is not only one tree that is called amra vriksha amra vriksha is again a jati in itself but it is a subset of the bigger jati vriksha amra vriksha is a subset of the bigger jati so this subset is called vishesha jati and the general uh, jati is called samanya jati so samanya jati vishesha jati shabda yoho samabhivyahare vishesha jati hi eva visheshanam so if a samasa is made between samanya jati and vishesha jati the vishesha jati word the word which represents the vishesha jati will become visheshana and the samanya jati shabda will become visheshya like amra vrikshah bharat bharat deshah it is uh, sambhavana only because bharata is not uh, vishesha jati it is not a jati it is a sanya uh, can you give some more examples of uh, vishesha jati ganga nadi ganga is the name of only one uh, amra here is not the name of only one tree there are so many trees that can be referred to as amra vriksha narikela vriksha ha ah narikela vriksha ha hmm any other jati other than vriksha ha kadali phala vriksha ha phalam kadali phalam kadali phalam vriksha ha फ्लवर्स Mm, that will become a, that will become a gunam only neelam will become only a gunam it is not a jati jati ah yeah, correct we want a jati amra phalam an teesukochu bagini phalalalalo teesukochu lekapothe ah amra phala pushpam paatala pushpam paatala pushpam yeah paatala pushpam because there are many kinds of vyanjanam ah इन अक्षर मृदु व्यंजन मृदु व्यंजन व्यंजन बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी मृदु व्यंजना वी कैन से दट मृदु व्यंजन स्वराहारिफरेंट जाति व्यंजना डिफरेंट जाति swaraha is a different jati vyanjanani is a different jati that is fine but mrudu is not a jati in itself mrudu is again a guna mrudutva is a guna so that will not come under uh, vishesha jati yes. it will not come under vishesha jati anyways hmm. uh, but you understood the point you can think of ramana pandita ब्राह्मण पंडित ब्राह्मण पंडित हियर विच वन इज द विशेष जाति विशेष जाति ब्राह्मण मानव इफ यू से मानव इज अमान्य जाति एंड ब्राह्मण इज अ विशेष जाति सो देन इट विल फिट पंडित मानव सो दामान्य जाति शुड बी अ बिगर एंटिटी Okay, okay, okay. And mm. it should not fit into another entity. Yeah, yeah. Pandita is a chart. 
uh, should not be a subset smaller, of another entity. Smaller sector of uh, sect of. Uh, uh, when you say Brahmana Panditaha, Brahmana is also in a subset of Manava Jati. Pandita yeah, yes, also is a subset of Manava Jati. Pandita is a subset of subset of Manava Jati. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, so Pandita Manava. Pandita Manava. Okay. Or Brahmana Manava. Yeah, Brahmana Manava. But <laughs> Brahmana Purusha. Okay. Brahmana Purusha. Yeah, that is better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Tatra Dirgha Vrikshadayaha Visheshana Purva Padasya Kanja Kubjaha Pataka Nartakaha Kubja Pachakaha Ityadayaha Visheshana Ubhaya Padasya Kaila Sadrihi Ityadayaha Sambhavana Purva Padasya Cha Udaharanani Iti Vivekta Vyam. Okay. So these are only classified as Visheshana Purva Pada. Visheshana Ubhayapada and uh, Sambhavana Purvapada. Okay? So that is about this uh, footnotes here. Anantaram. Atra Udaharanani Santi Pathamaha. Um, before that, let us also look at the footnotes on page number 41. First, we'll discuss the sutras here and then we'll read the examples given above. Okay? Purva Kala Eka Sarva Jarat Purana Nava Kevalaha Samanadhi Karanena. Okay, so this is another um, sutra. So, what does this sutra say? Ete Shabdaha Subantena Samasyante Ityarthaha. So, all these Shabdas Purva Kala Eka Sarva Jarat Purana Nava Kevalaha. They join with the Subanta to make a Samasa. Purva Kale uh, Purva Kaleti Asya Udaharanam Purvam Snataha Paschat um, Anuliptaha Snata Anuliptaha. Now here the Purva Kala, this just this just one word, Purva Kala, you should not take it as the, the word itself. For Eka, Sarva, Jarat, Purana, Nava, and Kevala, you can take those actual words. Eka, the word Eka, if it joins with another Subanta, then it will form a Samasa. The word Sarva, if it joins with another Subanta, it will uh, form a Samasa Padam. Like Ekaha Purushaha, Eka Purushaha, Sarve Devaha, Sarva Devaha, like that. Okay? Um, but the Purva Kala, you should not take the word Purva Kala itself. Like how you are taking Eka and Sarva. By Purva Kala, what it means is, when two actions are done, the action that is done before is called Purvakala. Means the word Purvakala indicates a word which uh, indicates a Kriya that is done earlier than the other Kriya. If we look at an example, we will understand. Purvam Snataha Paschat Anuliptaha. Snata Anuliptaha. Okay, so Purvam Snataha means first he took, a, he took bath and then he... Uh, he applied some perfume. Paschat anuliptaha. So, snata anuliptaha. So, here a purvakala word. Here, snataha will become the purvakala word. Means that action is done before. Okay? So, among all the words, if there is a word which indicates an action that is done before, such kind of word can join with another subanta to make a samasa. That is how you have to look at it. Okay. Anantaram. Another example is uh, Krishna Samikritam. Krishna Samikritam. Krishtam means uh, to plow. Samikritam is to level. So first you plow the land and then you level it. So here the Krishna word is uh, uh, that uh, it is indicating an action which is done before. So, such word is called Purvakala. Purvakala Padam. Tatta. Anantaram Dagdha uh, Prarudham. Burnt and then healed. Dagdha means to burn. And then Prarudham means to heal. To be healed. So, sometimes in some practices, you know how uh, they burn for some kind of uh, uh, remedies for some kind of health issues, that practice is there, where something is burnt and then healed. 
uh, in that way we can use or maybe it burnt by accident even then the burning action happens first and the healing action happens later so dagdha prarudham okay and then so I, in this context i would like to mention one more thing so in sanskritam especially for the sutras whenever there is a shabda that is uh, mentioned okay and uh, and uh, if that uh, whatever that sutra whatever uh, niyamam that sutra is uh, telling that will happen will happen to the letters of that shabda okay we have to apply it in such a way that it happens to the aksharas of that shabda unless it is explicitly stated that even its synonymous words can be taken many times we use that exact same word okay so that niyama is there so uh, here by the paniniya sutra swam roopam shabdasya shabda sanya shabdasya a shabda sanya so this is the sutra okay swam roopam shabdasya a shabda sanya so basically this is a rule of interpretation means uh, in among the rules again among all the paniniya sutras they can be categorized okay some indicate just the sanya like say for example um, for the guna sandhi first we define what is guna right and then we uh, we give the sutra with the, the guna so the sutra that actually Uh, labels the aksharas as guna that is a sanya sutra ni okay it will that is all labeling uh, initially because this is see in every subject you have some terminology which we have to be familiar with first after we learn the terminology only we can study the subject like in physics you have gravity what is gravity what is uh, um, magnetic pull Uh, you know th these are all the terminology for which you study what it means and then when you actually study the subject you will understand similarly here also some sanyas are used by panini maharshi so all there are sutras that also tell uh, which aksharas are labeled in that way which words are called what all these so those are called sanya sutra ni and then there are some sutras which uh, uh, which uh, um, you know ordain a certain rule means that rule has to be definitely be um, done so those are called adhikara sutra and then there will be some sutras that can be interpretation means how you should understand this those are called rules of interpretation okay so this is a kind of interpretation means how you should understand this in a certain condition okay so this sutram tells us so basically what this tells is whenever there is a word the rule whatever is the sutra is telling okay this rule has to be applied that rule will be applied to that particular word okay not the thing that it means for this there is an interesting example so say for example uh, when you are uh, when you are uh, uh, you know working with some words okay gamanaya if you say gamanaya so here basically you take the word ga okay and apply this rule to it that is what you mean so by that what do you mean gam means gakara akara makara akara anuswara but you will not actually bring a cow right though the word gam means cow in this particular context you are only meaning the aksharas gakara akara makara akara and anuswara that is exactly what is being told here so the exact words only should be taken and applied not even the synonymous words only for that uh, word that rule will be applied unless explicitly stated if they mean Uh, synonymous words also that will be stated either in the vartika or the mahabhashyam or in the sutra itself that information will be given if it uh, if they intend to use it in other places also okay so say for example if a rule is applicable to the word agni then what it means is to akara gakara nakara ikara and not its synonyms pavakah all all such words should not be taken okay 
So there is a sutra, Agner Dhak. Agner Dhak. That is a sutra. What does that sutra tell? That the Dhak suffix comes after the word Agni. Okay, so Agni is followed by Dhak and Agneyam. Sorry, Agneyam. The word Agneyam comes like that. For the word Agni, the Dhak Pratyaya is applied and Agneyam comes. So here, this applies only to the word Agni, not to its synonymous words. Okay, so here only that should be taken. Like that, uh, uh, I'm just telling this because many times in Samasa, like uh, earlier in the Panchami Vibhakti, only for the Shabdas, the, a list of uh, words were given, right? Uh, bhaya, Bhita, Bhiti, Bhi. Only for those Shabdas can be joined with a Panchami Vibhakti Antam Rupam. So why? Because we have to follow that strictly. Only these Shabdas. If there is another Shabda by the same meaning, like fear, you still cannot use it. We, we cannot think there are already four words that indicate fear. Uh, so maybe we can use even the fifth word, something else that also indicates fear. No, only the ones that are given in the sutras only should be used. Uh, to understand the importance of that, I just uh, brought this context. Okay. So that is with that. So here Purvakala means we should not take the literal word Purvakala, but what it indicates. It in, uh, the word that uh, indicates an action that has happened prior to another action. That word is indicated by the word Purvakala. So here the Udaharanani, uh, Ekaha Purushaha, Eka Purushaha, Sarve Devaha, Sarva Devaha, Jarantaha, Nauyayikaha, Jaran Nau, Jaran Nayayikaha, Jaran Gauhu, Jaradu, Jarat Guhu means an old. Jarat means old. If you see the similarity with the English geriatrics, we say, right? Um, so, uh, Jara. And then Puranaha Purushaha, Purana Purushaha, Navaha Patakaha, Nava Patakaha, Kevalaha Vayakaranaha, Kevala Vayakaranaha. Okay, so all these are examples under this sutra. Anantaram Purva Apara Prathama Charama Jaghanya Samana Madhya Madhyama Viraha Cha. Okay. Ete Shabdaha Subantena Samasyante Ityartaha Aparasyarthe Pascha Bhavaha Vaktavyaha. Okay. So here the Shabdas Purva Apara Prathama Charama means last. Jaganya means hindmost, means the, mo the, the one that is behind. But hindmost means behind. Now there are three or four things that are behind you. The last one that is behind you, that you can consider as Jaganya. Samana, Madhya, Madhyama and Viraha. So the words are Jaganya Shlokaha, Jaganya Shlokaha, Samana Mantraha. Samana mantraha, samanaha mantraha, samana mantraha, madhyam griham, madhya griham, madhyamaha margaha, madhyama margaha, viraha purushaha, vira purushaha. Okay, so here uh, purvaha purushaha, purva purushaha, that also is there. Aparaha mimam sakaha, apara mimam sakaha, aparaha arthaha, paschartha, prathamaha purushaha. Prathama Purushaha, Charamam Bhashanam, Charama Bhashanam. Okay, so all these come under this. And then, Aparasyarthe Paschabhavaha Vaktavyaha. So here, Aparasyarthe, there is another sutra again for that. Aparasyarthe. Hmm. Aparasyarthe Paschabhavaha Vaktavyaha is given, no, there. What it means is, again, this is actually a vartikam. Aparaha cha asau arthaha cha paschartaha. Here, aparaha means another. So, aparasyartha means paschartha, means meaning something else, another. So, aparaha mimam sakaha, another mimam sakaha. Aparaha arthaha paschartaha means another meaning. Arthaha is meaning. Aparaha arthaha means another meaning. Prathama, uh, so that is regarding apara, uh, Aparasyartha. Anantaram, there is another uh, sutram, 
सन् महत् परम उत्तम उत्कृष्टा पूज्यमानै शब्दा पूज्यमानै समस्यन्ते इत्यर्थः सो बेसिकली द वर्ड्स सन् महत् परम उत्तम उत्कृष्ट ऑल दीज कैन बी जॉइंड विथ एनदर सुबंत सुबंत सुबंतास टू फॉर्म अ समास पदम बट वॉट कैंड ऑफ सुबंतास पूज्यमानै सुबंतै समस्यन्ते पूज्यमानै means they they cannot be joined with any subanta they have they can be joined with only words that deserve respect like uh, here um, paramaha purushaha parama purushaha so you cannot join paramaha with anything only when you want to show your respect towards this particular person then you say parama purusha mahan vayakaranaha only if that vayakarana is great like panini maharshi then we say mahavayakarana we we do not apply the word maha with anything with any uh, other person who does not deserve that okay only with that which deserves it. so san vaidya sad vaidya so a vaidya who is really good only to that vaidya sad vaidya you say not to any vaidya only the vaidya that is good at his profession उत्तम पुषा उत्तम पुषा उत्कृष्ट वैद्य उत्कृष्ट वैद्य हियर उत्कृष्ट आलो दि ऑल दीज वर्ड्स आर सिनोनिम उत्तम उत्कृष्ट परम महा सन् ऑल दीज मीन लाइक ग्रेट और वेरी गुड ओके उत्कृष्ट <laughs> కర్దం అంటే మట్టి అంటే బురద ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ సో అ కౌ ఫెల్ ఇన్ టు సమ్ మడ్ సో యు యు ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ సంబడి టు టు మేక్ ఇట్ స్టాండ్ టు లిఫ్ట్ ద కౌ ఫ్రమ్ ద మడ్ సో ఉత్కృష్ట గౌ కర్దమాత్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మడ్ యు యు పుల్ ద కౌ అప్ సో హియర్ ఉత్కృష్ట గౌ గౌ నార్మల్లీ ఈజ్ అ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఇట్ డిజర్వ్స్ రెస్పెక్ట్ బట్ హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ కాంటెక్స్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ వి ఆర్ మీనింగ్ we are meaning uh, to lift the cow from the mud so here the utkrishtaha and gauhu will not join in the samasa because we are not using the two words in that sense okay ante ante manaki maamulaga utkrishtamu ante kuda nu goppadaina anna meaning e vastundi kadandi appudu alantappudu mari utkrishta ante ikkada leva cheyadam one second goppadaina ane meaning e vastundi lepadam ane meaning e vastundi oh adhe adugutunnanu ante उ Okay. Okay. So there okay. the samasa will not form. Utkrishtaha gauv kardamat. Ante uh, uh, it will remain like that without the samasa. So that is the reason to imply that significance. This pujya manai he is given in the sutra. Hmm. Allahi bana inda kudan madam mungko kote chinnna dinilo snata nu lipta ha na dani ki vigraha vakyo mara elara yal sosinda puru. Snata ha anu lipta ha. అంటే వీళ్ళు రాసినట్టుగా ఇక్కడ పైన రాసినట్టుగా రాయకూడదు మనం పూర్వం స్నాత పశ్చాత్ అనులిప్త అలా రాయకూడదు రాయచ్చు రాయచ్చు రాయచ్చా ఓకే ఫర్ మచ్ క్లారిటీ యు కెన్ మెన్షన్ దట్ 
see oh. here he is trying to explain us what purva kala means mm-hmm. so purvam snataha mundu snanam chesadu tarvata he applied perfume so oh. but but it is implied if you simply say snataha anuliptaha it is uh, uh, it is understood kada mm mm-hmm. ante if you already know about the concept of this if you simply say snataha anuliptaha you will understand but for more clarity you can always write purvam snataha paschat anulipta that is also fine Both it's not compulsory that uh, we have to write purvam snataha paschat anulipta is not compulsory it is not compulsory but i always tell everybody in an exam don't take any chances okay. because you are being examined to know what you know mm-hmm. the needs to know what you know so you have to be as you you have to write whatever you know so that ipudu ee ma just guess work ga ila rasesinda nijanga telise rasinda anedi vaalike ela telustundi only with your vigraha vakyam they will understand what you understood so mm-hmm. oh, in never exam always the suggest you write everything that you can write about a certain thing don't take a chance there but in general in general if you write snataha anuliptaha it is fine once we all uh, are past that learning stage mm-hmm. then if you simply write snataha anuliptaha that is fine okay but uh, but for more clarity it is always better to write this okay okay thank you thank you so much madam are we can write snanartham antaram liptaha స్నానాత్ అనంతరం అది వాక్యం మారిపోతుంది కదా ఇక్కడ ఎనదర్ థింగ్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిమెంబర్ ఇస్ సమానాధికరణం భవితవ్యం ఖలు సో స్నాత ఇండికేట్స్ అ పర్సన్ హూ టుక్ బాత్ అనులిప్త ఇండికేట్స్ అ పర్సన్ హూ అప్లైడ్ పర్ఫ్యూమ్ సో ద సమానాధికరణ యు ఆర్ షోయింగ్ క్లియర్లీ వేర్ ఆస్ స్నానాత్ అనంతరం మీన్స్ దేర్ what are you referring to yeah, you lost after the... taking bath he is uh, applying for perfume manatantaram pushpa ah adi adi in general sentence if you want to say the same meaning in a general sentence then what you said is fine but okay. when you are writing a vigraha vakyam for to show the samanadhikarana then snataha anuliptaha that will clearly show the samanadhikarana okay okay if you if you want okay. to express the same meaning in a general sentence then what you said is perfectly fine saha snanantaram anuliptaha uh, or uh, whatever so there it is fine but here we are trying to show the samanadhikarana okay okay anantaram dikk sankhye sanyayam so this is another sutra dikvachi sankhya vachi cha subantena samasyate sanyayam gamyamanayam ityarthah so here what this means is dikvachi dikvachi means words that indicate direction sankhya uh, numbers words that indicate numbers if these two దిక్వాచీ శబ్దాహ సంఖ్యా శబ్దాహ సుబంతేన సమస్యతే బోత్ దీస్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ కెన్ బి జాయింట్ విత్ అసుబంత సంజ్ఞాయాం గమ్యమానాయాం ఇత్యర్థ టు ఫార్మ్ అ వర్డ్ విచ్ ఈస్ అ నేమ్ నాట్ ఇన్ ఎనీ జనరల్ ఫార్ జనరల్ వర్డ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు దే హ్యావ్ టు అ దిక్వాచీ శబ్ద షుడ్ జాయిన్ విత్ అసుబంత అండ్ దట్ రిజల్టింగ్ సమాస వర్డ్ షుడ్ బి అ నేమ్ ఆఫ్ సంథింగ్ okay similarly the sankhya vachi shabda should be joined with a subanta to form a samasa word which again is a name of something it it should not be a general word it should be the name now let us look at some examples then you will understand sapta rishayah sapta rishayah okay so here sapta is a sankhya vachi shabda it is joined with the subanta rishayah sapta rishayah okay sapta rishayah here sapta rishayah is a name we we uh, there are sapta rishis right so each of those can be referred to as a sapta rishi 
and the 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 collection of all those saptarishis also we can refer to them as saptarishayaha so here it is more like a uh, name the saptarishayaha is a name it is not just a collection of seven uh, rishis here saptarishayaha has a significance it is the name of a group of rishis now who are in that group sometimes they can change one might uh, retire and another rishi can join but whoever is in that set is referred to as saptarishi that is the name it is not just a collection of seven rishis okay uh, anantaram pancha amraha pancha amraha like how saptarishi has a significance pancha amraha also has a significance but i don't know what that significance is with saptarishi we are all familiar but with am uh, pancha amraha i am not familiar there is some collection of five amras which has some kind of significance apparently but which i don't know the details so here pancha amraha is also like that the pancha amraha itself indicates uh, specific amraha okay by that name so it is more of a name rather than simply five mangoes that is with respect to dik sankhe sanyayam now for the dik here they did not give okay let us read uh, what is given below sanyayam gamyamanayam eva iti niyamartham idam sutram ataha sankhya vachina sah samasah sanya bhinna sthale na bhavati so this samasa will not happen where the sanya bhinna sthale where there is no name means when the final samasa word does not represent the name of something then this samasa will not happen a sankhya vachi shabda cannot be joined with uh, another subanta to form this kind of the karmadharaya samasa it will not okay ataha eva shadbihi mantraihi ashtabihi shlokaihi ityeva prachinah vyavaranti natu shanmantraihi ashta shlokaihi अष्टोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत्रोकमंत
षोडशसंख्या पदार्था विग्रह प्रदर्शनीय सो वी हेव टू रईट द विग्रहवाक्यम लाइक फर मध्यम पद लोपी ओके इन दट वे वी कैन जस्टिफाइ हाउ हाउ द त्रिलोकनाथ दो इट इज नाट द नेम ऑफ समथिंग of one particular entity it is still joined in samasa the only way we can explain this is by writing the vigraha vakya in a way that uh, like how we write for a madhyama pada lopa yena madhyama pada lopa samasa bhavati tena cha vimshati janaha pancha vimshati shloka ityadaya ityadaya siddha okay so that is about dik sankhye sanyayam so here the two examples that are given for this sutra are saptar rishayah and pancha amrah okay okay so the examples are also done let us move on to the next uh, um page again look at the footnotes kutsitani kutsanaihi कुत्सितानीकुत्सनवाच kutsana kutsitani and kutsana so basically it indicates um, say for example say for example there is a um, a chess player or a cricket player and he doesn't play cricket well at all okay he is a disgrace to the game of cricket say for example then how do you uh, sometimes uh, Uh, in a in a sense of sarcasm how do we say oh he is a great uh, cricket player right we say that but it is uh, it indicates sarcasm no, not that it is true or he is a horrible cricketer so here he is a horrible cricketer here this cricketer itself is um, we are trying to use it in the sense of uh, what do you say how do you say um, in belittling to belittle only that word so he is not even a cricketer like he doesn't even know the basics of cricket so how can you call him a cricketer but by calling him a cricketer about somebody who doesn't even know the basics of cricket you are showing that uh, uh, what do you say that uh, disapprovement okay you are disapproving to the fact that he doesn't know anything about cricket but he is trying to labeling himself as a cricketer in that sense so here the two words that is what they mean kutsitani kutsanaihi okay so words that express that uh, unpleasant or horrible thing or a bad sense are joined with the subandhas that express contempt okay resulting in a tatpurusha so vayakarana khasuchihi vayakarana khasuchihi here the vayakarana khasuchihi is somebody who doesn't know anything okay he doesn't have any knowledge is called khasuchihi vayakarana khasuchihi is a somebody uh, or more like uh, he who makes a lot of mistakes is khasuchihi vayakarana khasuchihi so this this vayakarana is not a vayakarana itself because he is making a lot of Uh, mistakes so the word vayakarana here is used to indicate that he is not good in that branch of uh, knowledge okay mimamsakah durdurutah here durdurutah is uh, more like uh, who is, uh, does not have belief so mimamsakah means it is all about uh, belief right it is a philosophy a philosophy where we believe that there is a purusha and prakriti and all that there, it is a big concept so here he who does not believe he who is an atheist how can he be a mimamsakah so mimamsakah durdu durdurutah by that we are 
showing our contempt, our disapprovement. Purushaha prashastaha. Purush, that is another, uh, that is another sutra. Okay, so the, that is about kutsitani kutsanaihi. Anantaram prashamsa vachanaihi cha. Prashamsa vachanaihi jatihi samasyate. Okay, so the jati word. Jati vachi subantam prashamsa vachanaihi saha samasyate. Tada tatpurushaha samasaha bhavati. So a jati vachi shabda, a jati shabda word will be joined with the prashamsa vachana. Shabda to form a compound word. And that compound word will be a Tatpurusha Samasa. So here, what is the example for that? Purushaha Prashastaha. Purusham uh, Purusha Macharchika. So Purushaha Prashastaha, Purusha Macharchika. Now here Macharchika is a word which is used in um, a good sense, like excellent or very good or in that sense it is used. Panditaha prashastaha, pandita prakandanam. This, the word prakandanam also indicates the same, excellence. Similarly, matallika, go matallika, goho, gauho prashasta, go matallika. Again, it indicates excellence. So a cow that is very good or excellent or has a very good qualities. Pandita Prakandam, a Pandita who has, who is, uh, uh, who excels in his branch of knowledge. Um, similarly, Purusha Macharchika, uh, the best of all the men like Rama. Vidvan Prashastaha, Vidvat Tallajaha, Tallajaha, sorry, Tallajaha, Vidvat Tallajaha. Here again, Tallajaha also means excellence. Um, so these words are under the prashamsa vachanaihi, uh, vachanaischa. That is the Paninya Sutra. So jati vachi shabdaha. So here what are the jati vacha shabdaha, purushaha, panditaha, vidvan. Panditaha and vidvan are uh, vishesha jatis. Purushaha is a samanya jati. Gauho is also a vishesha jati. Um, so jati shabda can be joined with a subanta which is a prashamsa vachanaihi, uh, uh, prashamsa vachi. Okay? And there is another condition here. Rudhi shabdaha prashamsa vachana grihyante. So here, if you see purushaha, uh, in the final compound word, purusha macharchika, macharchika is a akaranta strilinga shabda. This is a prashamsa vacha. This is a prashamsa vachi shabda means a word that indicates prashamsa, but it is a akaranta strilinga shabda. And purusha is a pumlinga shabda, akaranta pumlinga shabda. So here, this also indicates, these are called rudhi shabdas. A rudhi shabda is one that uh, will have a fixed gender and it does not change no matter what. Okay? So, macharchika is a akaranta strilinga shabda, which is joined with purusha shabda, but they still uh, join to form a samasa word. Though they are of different genders, they still join. All these prasham savachika shabdas are uh, now prakand prakandam is uh, napumsa kalinga and uh, matallika is a strilinga. Um, Vidvatallajaha is again a pumlinga. Like that you have these rudi shabdas can be of any gender. But whatever gender they are formed with, that will uh, not change. Like Visheshanas. For Visheshana, Uttamaha, Uttama, Uttamam. We change depending on how we are using. But these Shabdas do not change their gender no matter what. Such Shabdas are called Rudhi Shabdas. So here, uh, they join with the Jati Shabda. The Rudhi Prashamsa Shabdaha join with the Jati Shabda to form a Samasa which will be a Tatpurusha Samasa. Okay, as per this Sutra. Anantaram. Visheshana Ubhayapada. Kritam Akritam. Krita Kritam. Kritam Apakritam. Krita Apakritam. Bhuktam Abhuktam. Bhukta Bhuktam. Gatam Pratyagatam. Gata Pratyagatam. 
பீதம் அபீதம் பீதாபீதம் யாதம் அனுயாதம் யாதானுயாதம் உதிதம் அனுதிதம் உதிதானுதிதம் ஓகே ஸ்போக்கன் அண்ட் தட் விச் இஸ் நாட் ஸ்போக்கன் யாதம் இஸ் டு கோ அனுயாதம் இஸ் டு இதர் ஃபாலோ ஆர் இட் இஸ் மோர் லைக் ஃபாலோ ஸோ ஹியர் வாட் இஸ் திஸ் சூத்ர ஹியர் தேன நை விசிஷ்டே நானை ஓகே அனை தாந்தம் நை விசிஷ்டேன தாந்தேன சமசியதே so here basically if you notice the examples both words are exact opposites krutam akritam that which is done and that which is not done krta akritam but here in the sutra what it says is basically um samanadikaranam we have to always remember that so the work that is done and the work that is not done here it indicates the same work you should not forget that okay so but sometimes they are joined uh, with the negation but it they indicate the same so person who has gone and again the same person who has not gone in how in what kind of context we use that we will come to that later okay sometimes in a sentence you might uh, have to use especially in the bhagavad gita shlokas we have such uh, uh, contexts when we come to that context we will identify that but for now you remember that don't forget the samana adhikarana both words still have samana adhikarana but one time they are representing the positive sense and the second time the same thing is used in the negative sense okay that that which is done and that which is not done that which is eaten and that which is not eaten bhukta bhuktam that is with this uh, sutra this is uh, visheshana ubhaya pada so here kritam and akritam are both indicating the same both are like guna vachaka right so means visheshana i mean guna vachaka means visheshana so visheshana ubhaya pada anantaram upamana purva pada upamanani samanya vachanaihi that is the sutra paniniya sutra so the sutra itself is saying upamanani சாமானிய வச்சனை ஹியர் சாமானிய இண்டிகேட்ஸ் சமா சாமானிய தர்மம் மீன்ஸ் சே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வென் வி ஆர் கம்பேரிங் டூ திங்ஸ் தெர் இஸ் அ சாமானிய தர்மம் பிட்வீன் த டூ பத்மம் இவ சுந்தரம் முகம் பத்மம் இவ சுந்தரம் தட் சுந்தரம் இஸ் த சாமானிய தர்மம் ரைட் பிட்வீன் த டூ த பத்மம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ சுந்தரம் முகம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ சுந்தரம் ஸோ தட் இஸ் வை வி ஆர் கம்பேரிங் த முகம் வித் பத்மம் so th- that is the samanya dharmam so here the samasa is formed between the upamanam and the samanya dharmam this this particular sutra talks about the samasa words or the samasa formed between upamanam and the samanya dharmam so what are examples for this upamana vachi subantam samanya vachanaihi subantaihi samasyate kusuma miva komalam குசும கோமலம் குசும மீன்ஸ் ஃப்ளவர் கோமலம் டெலிகேட் டெலிகேட் லைக் த ஃப்ளவர் வாட் இஸ் டெலிகேட் லைக் த ஃப்ளவர் த உபமேயம் இஸ் நாட் மென்ஷன்ட் ஹியர் இட் கேன் பி த ஹேண்ட் ஆஃப் அ பிரின்சஸ் குசுமம் இவ கோமலம் ஆர் இட் கேன் பி யூனோ எனிதிங் எல்ஸ் ஃபீட் ஆஃப் அ தேவி லக்ஷ்மி தேவிஸ் ஃபீட் எனிதிங் ஓகே kusumam eva komalam here the upamanam and the samanya dharmam are only joined in samasa the upameyam is not given when we use it in a sentence based on that context we have to identify what this samasa padam is indicating vajram eva kathoram vajra kathoram okay so here vajram eva kathoram many times somebody's uh, uh, words can be very harsh so in that sense we can use or it can be actually Uh, an ayudha which is as strong as vajram but kathoram is usually used with voice so we can say here uh, vajra kathoram uh, vak or whatever so here vajram is the upamanam kathoram is the samanya dharma so as per this sutra upamanam is joined with the samanya dharma shailaha iva unnataha shailonnataha you can uh, if a person is very tall he is as tall as a mountain we say no a tree can be tall we say this tree is so tall like a mountain so shailonnataha vrikshaha 
ಶೈಲೋನ್ನತಃ ಪುರುಷ ಶೈಲೋನ್ನತಃ ಬಾಲಕ ಎನಿಥಿ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಉಪಮಾನ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಧರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಉಪಮಾನ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪದ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಉಪಮಾನ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪದ ದ ವಜ್ರಂ ದ ಕುಸುಮಂ ದ ಶೈಲಂ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಉಪಮಾನ ಉತ್ತರ ಪದ ಉಪಮೇಯ ಉಪಮಾನ ವಚನೈ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾಧಿ ಸಮಸ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಉಪಮಿತ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾಧಿ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪಾಣಿನೀಯ ಸೂತ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾಧಿ ಗಣೆ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಶಬ್ದ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರ ಸಿಂಹ ಋಕ್ಷ ಋಷಭ ಹಸ್ತಿ ಪುಂಡರೀಕ ಬಲಾಹಕ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾಧಿ ಆಕೃತಿ ಗಣ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಮ್ಮಂಡರ್ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾಧಿ ಗಣ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಉಪಮಿತ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾಧಿ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಉಪಮಿತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಉಪಮಿತ ಮೀನ್ ದ ಸಿಮಿಲಾರಿಟಿ ಉಪಮೇಯ ಉಪಮಾನ ವಚನೈ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾಧಿ ಸಮಸ್ಯತೆ ಕಿಂತು ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ನ ಕರಣೀಯ ಯಥ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಹ ಇವ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಉಪಮೇಯ ಇಸ್ ದ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಉಪಮಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಪಮಾನ ವಚನೈ ದ ಉಪಮಾನ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ಉಪಮೇಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಪಮಾನ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಧರ್ಮ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಹ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಹ ಇವ ಸೊ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಹ ಇವ ಕ್ರೂರ ವಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೆಜೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಇತಿ ಸಮಾಸ ಬಿ ಯದ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಹ ಇವ ಶೂರ ವಕ್ತು ಇಷ್ಯತೆ ತದಾ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಹ ಶೂರ ಇತಿ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರ ಪದಯೋ ಸಮಾಸ ನ ಕರಣೀಯ ಶೂರ ಇತಿ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ದ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಧರ್ಮ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಉಪಮಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಪಮೇಯ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗಣ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ರೂಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಅನಂತರ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಪುರುಷ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಹ ಇವ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡನ್ ಓಕೆ ಪುರುಷ ಸಿಂಹ ಇವ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಯು ರೀಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಪಠಿತು ಇಚ್ಛತಿ ವಾ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪೇಜ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೇಜ್ ಪುರುಷ ಸಿಂಹ ಇವ ಇವ ಪುರುಷ ಸಿಂಹ ಕರ ಕಿಸಲಯ ಕಿಸಲಯ ಇವ ಕರ ಕಿಸಲಯ ಪುರುಷ ಋಷಭ ಇವ ಪುರುಷ ಪುರುಷ ಋಷಭ ಪಂಡಿತ ಪುಂಡರೀಕ ಇವ ಪಂಡಿತ ಪುಂಡರೀಕ ಪಾರ್ಥಿವ ಇಂದ್ರ ಇವ ಪಾರ್ಥಿವೇಂದ್ರ ಗೌಹು ಬೃಂದಾರಕ ಇವ ಗೋ ವೃಂದಾರಕ ಮುಖ ಪದ್ಮ ಇವ ಮುಖ ಪದ್ಮ ಪುರುಷ ನಾಗ ಇವ ಪುರುಷ ನಾಗ ಮುಖ ಕಮಲ ಇವ ಮುಖ ಕಮಲ ಕಪಿ ಕುಂಜರ ಕಪಿ ಕುಂಜರ ಇವ ಕಪಿ ಕುಂಜರ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಉಪಮಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಪಮೇಯ ಉಪಮಾನ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಉತ್ತರ ಪದ ಪುರುಷ ಸಿಂಹ ಕರ ಕಿಸಲಯ ಕರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕಿಸಲಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ದ ಶೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ uh very delicate but they are not really um you know they are a little rough if you if you handle them a little differently you can even uh, hurt your fingers but i don't know why they compare that okay pandita pundarikaha pundarikaha means again pundarikaha means panditaha pundarikaha iva one meaning for pundarikaha is lotus i don't know if there are other but it doesn't look like we can apply that here um vyagraha uh, ar- arlanti samana artham vastundi bhagini 
Mm, tiger is also there, one meaning. Mm, the meaning of lotus is also there. Okay. Anantara. Panditaha Pundari Kahaiva. Pandita to Pundari Kudlagela after the Kulilaga. Okay. And this Reshta the Chapadanaki. Maybe. Yeah. Puraha and Antipurmanam uh, in the sense of tiger, we can take any quality of tiger. Yes. So maybe he is in that, um, you know, how all the scholars will have debates. So maybe this particular Panditaha is pouncing upon every other Panditaha like a tiger. <laughs> So, Panditaha Pundarikaha Iva. Parthivaha Indraha Iva. So, here in all these words, the Upamanam is in the Uttarapada. So, Upamana Uttarapada Karmadhareya Samasa, we can say. Anantaram Avadharana Purvapada. Visheshanam Visheshyena Samasyati. We uh, uh, Avadharana Artham Dyotayitum Vigraha Vakye Visheshanat Param Eva Eva Karaha. Prayujyate, eva karaha and akaraha laga, eva karaha. Eva should be written. Vidya eva dhanam, vidya dhanam. Guru eva devaha, guru devaha. Tapaha eva dhanam, tapo dhanam. Vedaha eva sampat, veda sampat. So this is avadharana purvapada, but it is nothing other than visheshana purvapada. So the base is visheshana purvapada, but within the visheshana purvapada, we again classified uh, things based on their uh, qualities with different names. So one is Avadharana Purvapada, one is Sambhavana Purvapada, one is Visheshana Purvapada, Visheshana Ubhayapada, Visheshana Uttarapada. Like that we have classified the Visheshana. Uh, uh, you know, Visheshana, Visheshya Bhava, whichever have, we have classified them like this. So here also again, Vidya Eva Dhanam. So both Vidya that vidya itself is the dhanam for that person, right? So both have again the same adhikarana. That we should not forget always. So guru hu eva devaha. So whom we are considering as guru, he the, the same guru we are considering as deva. So both of them again have the same adhikarana. Like that. For this, what is the sutra? Visheshanam visheshyena bahulam. This we have already studied earlier. Let us see one more that is given here. Uh, Vrindaraka Naga Kunjaraihi Pujyamanam. Okay, so here in the previous uh, in the previous uh, examples, Vrindarakaha is there, no? Go Vrindara, Go Vrindarakaha. So Vrindaraka Naga Kunjaraihi Pujyamanam. Tamanya Dharma Prayoge Api Etaihi Trivihi Shabdaihi Samasaha Bhavati. Yatha Balavan Kapi Kunjaraha. So here these words, apart from meaning, apart from meaning what they normally mean, they also uh, can be used in the Pujyamana sense. Okay. So Vrindarakadayaha Jati Shabdaha. Te Upamanatve Sati Puja Vachana Bhavanti. When they are used as Upamanas, they are used in good sense. Puja vachana bhavanti. Okay, normally Naga, it, it not, not always it can uh, indicate, uh, uh, you know, the good sense. Uh, purushaha nagaha iva. There we have to take the positive sense only. Whenever these, these words, Vrindaraka, Naga, Kunjara, whenever these three words are used as Upamanam, they have to take in the Puja mana sense only. Okay, so here Purushaha Nagaha Iva, Purusha Nagaha, we have, we are considering this Purusha in a uh, high regard. Hmm. Anantaram. So here, because of the joining with Naga, the Purusha is supposed to be a person worthy of being respected. Only then we join with Naga. Otherwise, we do not join. Only when a person deserves respect, they can be joined with these three words which are used as upamana. And in that sense, they also uh, are used in the positive sense. So, kapihi kunjaraha iva. Kapi kunjaraha. Okay. So, that is with that uh, sutra. And then, visheshanam visheshyena bahulam we already discussed. Shaka parthivadinam siddhaye uttarapada lopasyopa sankhyanam. 
this is a vartikam this is a vartikam for the previous shloka that we uh, sutra that we studied earlier for uh, so here शाकपाथिवादीना सिद्ध उत्तरपद लोपस्ोपसख्यानम सो दिस्तिकेन नई विशिष्टेना नई फॉर दट सूत्र इट इज द वार्तिक ओके वेर वी जॉइंट द ऑपोजिट फॉर दट सूत्र इट इज कृतम अकृत दट सूत्र इज देर नो फॉर दट सूत्र दिस् इज वार्तिक so what does this vartika say samanadhikarana adhikare shaka parthivadinam upasankhyanam uttara pada lopah cha so basically adhikare means because both words are considered to have samanadhikarana means only when both the words have samanadhikarana shaka parthivadinam means the words that come under the class of shaka parthiva and the group of words that start with that word upasankhyanam uttara pada lopah cha so basically um, madhyama pada lopah this is the definition for madhyama pada lopah we can say okay shaka parthivadinam siddhaye uttara pada lopasya upasankhyanam so how do we look at it um, अवधारणा इज ओवर संभावना पूर्व पद विल कम टू दट अगेन ओके विशेषण विशेषण समस्ते अत्र विशेषण संज्ञा शब्द संभावना पूर्व पद आई एम जस्ट रीडिंग विग्रहवाक्ये विशेषण परम इति इति पदम प्रयुज्य है सो इन द विग्रह वाक्य फॉर संभावना पूर्व पद दट इति शुड बी यूज्ड अयोध्या इति नगरी कैलास इति आद्रि आम्र इति वृक्ष सो फॉर संभावना पूर्व पद वी यूज द वर्ड इति एंड फॉर अवधारणा पूर्व पद वी यूज द वर्ड एव हिमालय इति पर्वत दशरथ इति राजा अनंतर मध्यम पद लोप विशेषण विशेषण समस्ते This we already know. Kintu atra visheshanam vigraha vigraha vasthayam sada samastam padam bhavati. Visheshani bhute samasta pade yat uttara padam tasya uttara padasya lopa ha bhavati. Madhyama pada lopa vyavaharastu ittam. Vigraha vigraha vasthayam tu padatrayam bhavati. So shaka priya ha parthiva ha idi. अत्र मध्ये स्थितस्य प्रिय शब्दस्य लोपः अतः मध्यम पद लोपः समासः इति व्यवहारः सो शाक 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 प्रिय पार्थिव वाट इज द समस्त पदम फॉर दिस शाक पार्थिव ओके सो दिस इज कन्सिडर्ड एज मध्यम पद लोपि सो शाक प्रिय पार्थिव मीन्स हियर Uh, shaka means normally vegetable vegetables but here in this uh, context parthivaha is a king so uh, it is not a, it is not simply a king who likes uh, vegetables it is not as simple as that you can also take that meaning actually but in this context it is uh, the king loved by all the people of his uh, era when he ruled okay so here shaka uh shaka parthivah shaka priya parthivah so he who is loved by his people so here shaka should mean people of his time but i could not find uh, the derivation in that sense anywhere but based on the context only i am telling that okay um so this comes under madhyama pada lopi so shaka priya parthivah shaka parthivah deva pujakah brahmanah deva brahmanah 
व्यधिका विंशति ही द्वा विंशति ही शोडश संख्या का हा पदार्था हा शोडश पदार्था हा द्विगुणितम् शतम् द्विशतम् द्विगुणितम् means times two शतम् hundred times two द्विशतम् हरि ओम बगने अच्छा शाका पार्थिवा हा शा अंते शाका प्रिया हा पार्थिवा अंते पूरा का एलो नत इष्टा पढ़तुन्ना राजु अन्नत्तु ते चप्पेर बगने ओ करो हाँ अदे अंटुन्ना common meaning you can apply that because shaka has the meaning of vegetable and parthiva has the meaning of king so shaka parthiva ante a king who likes vegetable and koda mirtis ko chandilo dosham em ledu kani kani when i saw when i looked up this vartika uh, the example and the meaning given is the king who is loved by his people in subjects his okay subjects ah. and koda iskochu okay correct Okay, na? but I couldn't find the derivation for Shaka in that sense. I searched for it, but I couldn't find a source where Shaka means, uh, you know, the people or uh, subjects of a king or whatever. I couldn't find that. Shaka and the simple food and kunda and kunda ma. Bojiram priyudu and chupan and kunda. Adi antu na, adi samanya ardham adi ustu ni. Shaka pakamu lo antar kita, shaka mu pakamu antar. Correct, correct. That meaning is there. But what I am saying is this other meaning is also given. Okay. So I just wanted to. Anantar. Dvyadhikam shatam dvishatam. Okay, 201. Sorry, 102. Iti artha. अनंतरम मयूर व्यम्सक आदि ही इधर कटी चद्वेष्टानु सो विल बी डन विद कर्मधारया समास विधाय के ना सामान्य नियमेना यत्त सिद्धम् न भवति तत्त मयूर व्यम्सक आदि गणे पठितम् दैट विच डज नॉट फॉल इनटू एनी ऑफ द रूल्स दैट वी स्टडीड एरलियर ऑल दोस कैन बी कैन बी गैदर्ड अंडर दिस रूल ओके अविहित अविहित लक्षण हा तत्पुरुष हा मयूर व्यम्सक आदिशु दृष्टव्या हा इति काशिकायम अभीतम सो काशिका इज लाइक भाष्यम इन दैट दिस इज गिवन अविहित लक्षण हा मींस वेर द वेर द कोऑर्डिनेशन इज नॉट देर बिटवीन द वर्ड्स प्रॉपरली फॉर अ समासा टू फॉर्म अंडे प्रॉपर लॉजिकल सेंस लो लेनी वन्नी ये कैटेगरी किंतु मानूँ समासाल चाहिए चु मायूरा हा व्यम्सका हा मायूरा व्यम्सका हा सो व्हाट डज इट मीन मायूरा हा व्यम्सका हा उदक अवाक मींस उच्चावचम Uchavacham is the samasthapadam. Here it means the northern part and the southern part. Udak is the northern part and avak is the southern part. Uchavacham is northern and southern. Nishchitam prachitam. Nishcha pracham. Nasti kinchana yasya saha. Akinchana ha. Nasti kutaha bhayam yasya saha. Akuto bhaya ha. So having no fear. Akuto bhaya ha. Is having no fear. So why is this not uh, taken as uh, bahubrihi? Nasti kutaha bhayam yasya saha. Why? Because there also, in the bahubrihi also, they, it should have uh, samanadhikarana, which it does not have here. Which it does not have here. So that is why all the special cases where they do not fit into any rule are gathered under this. अन्यह राजा राजा अन्यो राजा राजांतरम चिदेवा चिन्मात्रम अश्नीत पिबता इत्येवम सततम यत्राभिधीयते सा अश्नीत पिबता means to invite to eat and drink अश्नीता means to eat पिबता means to drink इत्येवम सततम यत्राभिधीयते सा so where there is an invitation to for uh, to eat and drink pachata bhrijata uh, ityevam satatam yatra bhidhiyate sa 
so pachata is to cook bhrijata is to kind of fry so pachata bhrijata khadata modata ityevam satatam yatra abhidiyate sa khadata modata so khadata is to eat modata is to be happy so in the very beginning if you remember we have studied that the samasa has to be made only between subantas but here khadata and modata are kriya padani so when a samasa is made between kriya it cannot be made but this is again like an exception so all such exceptions are um, listed under this mayura vyamsakaadi jahi jodam jahi jodam iti abhikshnayena ya ahasah jahi jodah jodam means to hit jahi means uh, chin so he who keeps hitting on his chin constantly is jahi jodah so mayura vyamsakadayascha mayura vyamsakadayah shabdah nipatyante iti sutrartah nipatanam nama siddha prakriyasya shabda swarupasya nirdeshah you all know abhyayani right abhyayam means that which does not change its form but within avyaya even there are some derived avyayas like patitva patitum all these are also avyayas because they don't change with linga vachana vibhakti uh, eka vachane api uh, patitva uttama purushe api patitva prathama purushe api patitva sah pustakam patitva nidrati aham pustakam patitva nidrami like that ओके ते पुस्तक पढ़िवा निद्राति निद्रा कुरती ओके लाइक दट सो नथिंग चेंजेस बट दे आर् डिवड अभ्यया वर्ड विच इज नाट डिवड बट विच इज एन अभ्यया इज कॉल निपात सो दीज ऑल कम अंडर निपात ऑल दीज वर्ड कम अंडर निपात एंड सो सामस वित् निपात शब्द मयूर व्यंसकादया शब्द विच आर् निपात एंड विच फॉर्म सामस come under this category they don't follow particularly any proper rule are gathered here okay so we shall stop here um, we will continue in the next class any questions ante basically ga mayura vyamsaka ante जगन्या मयूर व्यंसक अंत अंपौंड वर्ड मीन एूडी बट व्यंसक मीन लाइक चीट to a person who cheats or cheating but uh, when it is joined with mayura what how it means we have to check ante a rules ne rules ke etiki vetiki dakkakunda cheat chestunnattundi mohandi ha kaani ikkada aadaya ha annadu ante alanti padalanni kalipi ani adhe adhe let me again check on that also ante yes, does it really mean actual words ah lekapothe uh, it means that concept ani but here it is also given ipud mayura vyamsakada yascha anichadu kada cha ichadu kada hmm so that cha indicates only the words that are given in this list and uh, you should not add anything else like mayura vyamsaka is there but parama mayura vyamsaka you cannot form and you cannot join this with anything else okay you should use it as it is ah in in that gana whatever words are there only mm. like that 
you have to use, but they cannot be joined with anything else. Anidhi, the ch in the sutra indicates that. Um, so, but about the that gana and the words in that gana, we'll discuss in the next class. Astu vadi madhanivada. Madhanivada. Shanti mantram. Sarve bhavantu sukhina ha. Sarve santu niramaya ha. Sarve bhadrani pashyantu. Ma kaschit dukha bhag bhavet. Om shanti shanti shanti. Dhanivada ha bhagini. Sarve bhiha dhanivada ha. Ma'am. Uh, fourth level, the uh, start just there, and the October uh, October seventh, and nana ninth, and nana Saturday seventh, and nana seventh, seventh, start shut the man and put to man. Okay, okay, thanks. And Shubhadri Sarvebhya, huh? Then you are the Hassar Vabia. I will post uh, uh, the information regarding the class. Okay. Okay. Okay.